Today, we're going to discuss about the central angle and intercepted arc postulate. Okay, we need to define first what is postulate. A postulate is a statement, also known as an axiom, axiom which is taken to be true without any proof. So, this is so postulate is just a statement that acceptable to be true with, even without proof. This is different from a theorem because theorem you need proof in order for us to accept a theorem. So, that is a postulate. Now, a central angle, central angle of a circle is an angle which vertex lies on the center of the circle, meaning the, the center of the circle is its vertex. And which sides are the radii of the circle? So if you have a circle, and this is the center, and this is an angle that represents a central angle. The vertex is the center of the circle, and the legs are the radius or the radii of the circle. Now, the intercepted arc of an angle is the arc in which the side of the angle intersects. Going back to my illustration a while ago, uh, these sides intersect on this part and in this part, and this create an, an arc. This is what we call an intercepted arc, or the arc that is in front of the central angle, in which the leg or the sides of that angle intersects. Now, let's go to the first, the postulate itself the central angle intercepted arc postulate. It simply says that the measure of the central angle of a circle is equal to the measurement of the intercepted arc. Meaning, if this is the central angle, A, O, B, the measure of it in degree is equivalent to the measure of arc A, B because arc A, B is its intercepted arc. For our first example, if angle AOB measures 30 degree, that's our given, then let's find the measure of arc AB. So by definition or by the post CAIA postulate, we can say that arc AB is equivalent to the measure of the angle AOB. So that is 50 degree as well. Now what if the given now is the arc, the intercepted arc. If the intercepted arc CD measures 80 degree, then what is the measure of the angle, of the central angle of it? What's the measure of angle COD? It is the same. So the measure of it is also 80 degree. Now let's give a twist on this kind of problem. If we have a given of angle EOF, which is 120 degree, we know, oh, we know by CABA that the arc intercepted it, which is arc EF, is also 120 degree. But we are asked to find the measure of arc EPF, which is the major arc at the back of the central angle. Now, we, we need to have a knowledge of a circle that the circle measures 360 degree. So if this part is 120 degree, and the remain, then we are asked to find what is the remaining, the measure of the remaining part. All we need to do is to subtract that 120 degree to 360, and we, we can get 240 as the measure of the major arc EPF. Now let's refer to this example or to this problem. Uh, looking at the figure of the, and at the right and the given information. Refer to the figure on the right and the given information to answer each question. First, if CER measures 60 degree and CEI measures 30 degree, then we need to find the following. Let's start with CI. In answering CI, we just consider this as this given. If this is 30 degree, then therefore, CI by central angle intercepted arc postulate, it, it measures 60 degree. 30 degree, sorry. 30 degree. Now, IER, IER, and measurement of arc IR 
Now, to find that, we need first to find the measurement of this. So, we have this what we call angle addition postulate, wherein we can, we can to get the measurement of this whole angle, we need to add the measurement of this angle into the measurement of this angle. That gives us an equation that angle CER is equal to the sum of angle CEI and angle IER. Okay, but in this case, we have the value for CER, we have the value for CEI, but we are we don't know the measure of angle IER. So let's do some algebra, let's subtract 30 on both sides, and that gives us a measure of 30 degree. So this is also 30 degree. And if it is 30 degree, the measure of this is 30 degree, then the intercepted arc of it also measures 30 degree and that's by CAIA postulate or central angle intercepted arc postulate now CR what's the measure of CR to get the measurement of CR we need to know the measurement of CER and that is 60 degree now for letter D what is the measurement of CLI? This is the major arc of angle CER. If CER is 30 degree, this arc is also 30 degree. Then what is the measurement of the remaining arc CLI? So all we need to do is to subtract that 30 degree to 360 degree. That gives us 330 degree now let's first answer letter F before we proceed to letter letter E in letter F we need to find the measurement of this angle REL and the intercepted arc RL now this is a straight line we can answer this in two in two kinds of way first is by the use of semicircle we know that this is 30 degree and we know that this is a part of a semicircle which is 180 degree and this is the other part RL so what is the measure of arc RL if this part is 30 degree and the whole arc is 180 degree that gives us an idea that this is 150 degree and if it is 550 degree therefore it is also 150 degree I'm sorry I did I say 500 I should say 150 degree or by using a a linear pair this is a straight line therefore these two angles are linear pair and if we add these two angle it measures 180 degree so we have the value for IER so all we have to do is to subtract 30 on both sides the equation and gives us the answer of 150 degree okay now for LCR now remember that the whole circle L C R is 360 degree and we have this given 150 all we need to do is to subtract that 150 to 360 degree that gives us 210 or we could use this, uh, this as semicircle, which is 180 degree, and we need to add this 30 degree here. So 180 plus 30 is 210. Now let's try this kind of question. The circle graph or the pie graph at the right shows how typical students from GEO Institute spend school days. What is the measure of the central angle used for the study part? this one we need to measure it in degree so study part is 29% others is 18% leisure is 22% and sleep is 31% now to answer this we need to have a knowledge to have the knowledge that the circle measures 360 degree and if we need to know this part all we need to do is to get the 29% of 360 degree and we can use that by changing 29% into decimal decimal number and that is 0.29 times 360 degree 
and that gives us an answer of 104.4 degree same process if we use if we find the central the measure of the central angle of the remaining the remaining task or the remaining pi uh, angle for the uh, for this slip we just need to get the 31% of 360 which is 111.6 22% of 360 degree which is 72.2 for the sure and for others, 18% of 360 degree, which is 64.8 degree. And if we add this all up, we get 360 degree. So that's all for the central angle intercepted arc postulate. Hope you learned something and hope that you like and subscribe this video. Thank you and bye-bye.